defense players that I've seen and I've seen a lot of offensive players are smarter than defensive players. And if y'all are defensive players in the comments, I apologize if I offended you. But I love RPOs because at the end of the day, we want to get our playmakers into space. Wow. So I, I love RPOs myself. How do you feel about RPOs, K Styles? Oh, I love I, I as I love them. I like I said, if you get if your defense is thinking out there, you are the offense already won. Exactly. They exactly. See, the best defenses don't think; they react. They just react. And they just happened, react. And what happened with this this RPO right here, this run pass option? That like that's for the folks that probably don't know what that is, but we're just gonna say the RP, the run pass option. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the the linebackers have to think. Yes. Yes. And there's no if, fans or buts about it. Yes. Because if you notice the safety on this defense, see he's lined he's lined up shaded over the two wide receiver side. Yeah, yeah. So his responsibility was trying to cover whatever the hell was gonna go on that side. Exactly. But with that linebacker, like I said, crashing down the formation, opened it up for that, for 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 that for that beautiful slant. Beautiful. Beautiful. He, he kind of threw it behind him just a tad bit. But it was still enough that it was still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was still enough that he could still take it and and do something with it. And then another thing about that RPO and uh, uh, Jarvis and Nick Turner and all the other uh, Harrison the Bunny. Another beautiful thing about it is that I, I think Dirk Cutter was masterful at this play call. Is that he had everybody blocked down. Mm -hmm. So whenever he had everybody blocked down that defensive end, he came free. And sometimes that gets in that defensive end's head because if it's a situation where he comes free, look, if I'm a defensive lineman and somebody is trying to keep me from getting to a spot the whole game and I actually come free and I know that they let me come free and I didn't get to the quarterback in time, guess what I'm going to start doing? Start thinking. I'm going to start thinking. I'm going to start second-guessing myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start saying, well, are they trying to trick me again? So like like if you see this like that, that everybody blocked down this defensive end he just came down free but I think I I'm just being honest guys like here at Atlanta Falcons Nation we have unbiased opinions I mean this unbiased, was a great play unfiltered, call unfiltered just facts just facts and this was a this was a great play call by Dirk Cutter because whenever that defensive end came down he 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 was actually taken out of the play. Without anybody even touching them. Well, then Russell Gage, he he just made a good football play and got loose. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like I said, Matt Ryan threw behind him just enough because if he actually would have threw him in stride, he actually could have broke that for more yardage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was still good yardage though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was still good yardage on it. We probably could have got more on it. It was still great yardage on it. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look Look at it from the pretty side, K-Styles, while I'm checking this out here. We're going to get it from the pageant side. From the pageant, <laughs> from the honey boo-boo. The honey boo-boo pageant side. Now, I can't say honey boo-boo because -boo that name just sounds ugly. So we just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's from, ugly. <laughs> from the Miss America side. How about that? <laughs> All right, so 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 you see here, this is what K Styles was talking about, Atlanta Falcons family. Those linebackers, they're looking back there. I mean, and you can just look at their body language. Like these guys are looking aggressive. They're looking like they're trying to fill some holes, fill some gaps. Yeah, they see they they trying to play the run. They look like they're ready to play the run. Exactly, exactly. And then Bam. They, they Matt play. Ryan. Matt Ryan had a he he did a great job of selling that fake because he knew that he I'm not going to sit here and say that he knew it because you know he had to kind of read everything but look man the fact that you know he he fully turned his body and then brought it back and then let it go I mean it, it was a great play just like you were saying K Styles he could have definitely put it where he needed to put it at but uh, I mean I still think that it was a it was a good play. Oh, there, yeah. 
Hmm. That was nice. Yeah, because them linebackers, they they were too damn aggressive on that play, boy. <laughs> they look like bill collectors on that play. Because if you look at the snap, they was already at the line. They were literally at the gaps already. It wasn't, yep. it wasn't even thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they were already there. Okay, so you see the one with the you, you see the one on the left side. We're gonna call that AT and T. The other one, that's gonna be that's gonna be Sally May. <laughs> <laughs> now now watch now watch how aggressive they go. <laughs> they wanted them payments. <laughs> <laughs> And Nick oh, Turner, yeah. Nick Turner said our O line needs a couple more years together to get chemistry and know each other's habits. Our offense will run smoother than baby oil. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your oh yeah, like you said, your offensive line has to be a well tuned oil machine. I mean, yes. And nice play call, Quentin Willis. That was a damn good play call, and I. But the thing is. In order for the RPO to work consistently, your running game has to be on point. Okay, Styles, can you please say that again for the people in the back, please? <laughs> for I the need to RPO hear that. offense to run effectively, your running game has to be on point. Which yes, means sir. you will you have to get yardage. You can't get one yard here, one yard, two yard talk. No, you gotta you got to scare defenses with the running game. Uh, Chargers defense made another late interception last n- night against the Raiders. But you yeah, they did. Remember, you also got. Yeah, they did. You also got to remember this Chargers defense is like top ten in the league, so it ain't we ain't going against no bums out there. <laughs> yeah, this is without yeah. Derrick James, so. And um, <sighs> Jarvis Williams said, "Big low, K Styles, your film breakdown is on point. Keep it up. Keep it up." Everybody's happy that you guys are doing this. Keep it going. Definitely. Definitely. So let's take a look at this one right here. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know what it was about Matt last last week, but Matt was feeling a froggy. He was, I, I didn't I wanted to start calling him a frogger out there because boy, he was jumping. Boy, Matt was Matt was slinging that thing down feel like it wasn't nobody business on Sunday. Oh, um, yeah. Hey, look, look, before you go do it, yes, I am drinking beer tonight. Um, we got peace up, a town down, <laughs> peace up, a town down beer. Like you <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I already know what time it is. <laughs> All right, what you got, coach? All right, so like I said, so hey, look, Matt Ryan, like I've been saying this all week, he's my favorite player of all time, my favorite quarterback of all time. Matt Ryan just had a bad game this week. So um, we've seen Matt Ryan for the last 13 years. And when he takes shots, they're, they're very well planned out and very meticulous. Now, let's take a look at this one um, and see. And y'all, y'all let me know, and y'all let us also know in the comments what y'all see that happened with this play, why it didn't come to fruition, because we got the look that we wanted. But you know, it, it just didn't. It just didn't work. Yeah, because he cut the pre-snap read is cover three all the way because the corners are playing, looking at the quarterback. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Jay Rock said, "Where my hat at?" I'm sorry, I got to put the coach's hat on. My bad. Everybody else got theirs on. All right. My bad, Jay Rock. I got had to do it for the baby hey, look, girl. Look, 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 you said you didn't want to go to the Nick Saban side today. You was gonna just do the right. <laughs> on, 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 on the Anthony Lynn side of the game, he said, "I like that shirt though." Um, look, big low. George, oh, 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 what's that? The Julio shirt. Julio. Yeah, Julio. What is that? It ain't who you know. Julio. It ain't who you know. That's what my homeboy Terry Artist for all for say. Yeah. It's not who you know. It's Julio. <laughs> You gotta give me a shirt like that. Uh, well, well, well. This, this is my shirt. Since we showing up shirts, let me show y'all my shirt. I'm done, people. <laughs> <laughs> Man, 
man. So let's take a look at this shot that Matt threw and see how it unfolded. And y'all tell me what y'all seen wrong with this one. And I'll play oh, it again for you. Yeah, rewind it. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me move that, that comment so you couldn't see it. Yeah. So I'm trying I'm trying to see all the other options that could have happened. Okay. okay. Tight end motion down. You need to play in a slow-mo case style? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Play a slow-mo so I can kind of take a look at it. <laughs> Somebody said, "Give Julio yeah, he some took more the milk." Down. The check down was open. <laughs> like, like this play right here. I'm gonna tell you something. He actually, cause this is the one that he was actually late on this play. Like I said, the check down was there, but the throw was like if the throw would have actually been a second earlier, he'd have hit. He'd have hit really in the back of the end zone. Yes, but the thing yes. was, he saw it. He saw it a split second too late. Yes, yes. So I can't. So, blame, I can't blame him on that throw as far as where he was going with it. I only blamed him because he was late on it. Yeah. So I said, I all completely really agree. Had to with do you. there was step in, G G G, triple G, triple G. Yeah. So so let's look at uh, and, and you're you're completely right, K Styles. Let's look at it from the Miss America side. Um, pretty sad, pretty sad. Let's look at it from the pretty side. You and um, rock in America, <laughs> living in America. <laughs> All right. So what I always do to see, what I always do to look at, to, to look to see where quarterbacks are looking. I always look at the, the logo on their helmet because mm -hmm. that's how you know. That's how you know where they're looking at. So. On this particular play, y'all make sure you—you uh, you probably can't see the green dot, but I make sure that you just keep an eye on Matt's helmet on this one. Hey, Quint Willis says somebody give Julio some milk so he can stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Julio thinks he, he think he's too young to start taking Jerry Tom. That's what that is. Well, shit. He better what? go ahead and jump on it. He better start icing them ankles and shit. <laughs> hamstrings. He need, he need to start smoking blunts before game. Hell, <laughs> that's like a football player doing shoes. Some being gay on that. Shit, motherfucker don't want to get caught up in them drugs like that. I know y'all ain't see them specials about them football players that be addicted to all them drugs and shit after they playing because of them. Drugs. I seen that. I seen that. Yeah, oh, but go, go, just go do a smoke a bump before the game. You'll be fine. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So, like I said, y'all make sure that y'all keep an eye on Matt's helmet. Let's see. Someone said Matt should have checked down, and you seen Matt had a window. Does that mean Matt is losing strength in his arm? I wouldn't say he loses strength in the arm. This particular play, he was late on the read. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not actually. I'm actually not mad at that throw because anytime yeah. you got your wide receiver running downfield with nobody behind him, you know it, it's a good throw. He he just he just waited a little too late, just a second late. Exactly. You know, yeah, I, you know that's going to happen. You know, we've seen Matt do this for years. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes it's one of those cases where. He 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 didn't expect the coverage that he was going. Yeah. Get. So 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 look and see where he's looking at. He's looking right the whole time. Boom! He just looks left. He sees it. Then he throws it. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Because if you look at, he took that extra step, that extra step through the whole time and all. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was a pretty good read by Matt because they did have that single high safety. But the the only difference is is that um, because I, I think I think Matt went into this play thinking that hey I'm gonna look this safety off and it actually worked because you know Calvin really hit him with this ridiculous double move at the top of the screen I see Calvin really right here and um, he's going to get past that guy and you see here he, he's looking him off yeah he gave him the little head fake that was it right there. Yeah, yeah. So it was. I mean, it was a good. It was a good look. 
it was just a second too late. He he could have stretched it out a little bit further. Um, and, and if he would have, yeah, that definitely would have been a touchdown. Uh, if he felt like he couldn't have made that throw, you know, it's kind of like Pop say on Friday. But you live to fight another day. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Antoine Wartime TV. I guess he's tuning in. How are y'all doing? Rise up. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank what, you. And on? all y'all that's watching now, please subscribe to all channels of the panel as well as share the stream and let everybody know that we are doing Film Breakdown live right about now. Let everybody know. Come on, come on, come on. We all Definitely. switch. Definitely, uh, definitely everywhere. Let everybody know. Hey, you are watching well, this. Hey, look, I'm about to say we might well read the comments because you know you're gonna have one of your fans talking about why the hell the comments up are covering your damn face. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I'm giving everybody I'm shine. That's all right. That's all okay. right. So basically, the beast among us said, "What are y'all thoughts on Anthony Robinson getting interviewed for the GM position?" <sighs> I mean. <laughs> It's kind of like I said on our show on um, ATL and Sports Zone. It comes on every Wednesday at eight. Um, you know, we we can all look back at you know what someone's done in the past, but unless you're sitting in the room with these guys, like you know, we we really don't know what their principles are, or you know, you know how how they go about doing their job. Like we just seen. We just seen the baby at the end of the day. So if we if we look at Arthur Smith and say, "Oh yeah, he drafted JJ Watt." I mean, I mean, yeah, that's cool, but you know, we, we don't know everything that went into effect of drafting JJ Watt. You see what I'm saying? So I, I wish we could all sit and listen to interviews, but you know, unfortunately, we can't. Hey, look, look, look who look who's in here in the chat, Keish. Keish. Keish Corner. Keish Corner. Y'all okay. follow her if you got some women's. You follow you her. Women. She got lipsticks and eyelashes, yeah. all that for you guys. Well, she's revamping, but look, look for January for her relaunch. Definitely. Keish Corner. Exactly. That's uh, Terra Artist 404 wife. Exactly. Just That's so right. y'all know. Now y'all disrespectful to her. You going to really see a terror. <laughs> 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 And that's my oh, best buddy. That's that's my best buddy. For a photo, play radio. <laughs> <laughs> that man love his wife. My whole boy Terry, he didn't even call the keys. He said, "Hey, wife, this is what yeah. we're going to do today." <laughs> that love right there. Well, well, but, what, yeah. that, what, what that Ice Cube and Dr. Dre song? <laughs> Mind of a murder. Oh. <laughs> 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 And Terror Triple G, Ford, get your ass. Triple G said, "If really would have stepped inside on the end zone, he would have been on the ball. Really was ahead of him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had him beat. Yeah, he had him beat. But, but, yeah, but like I said, what happened was Matt took that extra step. See, when Calvin really, when he did that head fake, and he saw that space, mm -hmm. he took that ball right there. And yeah. Said, uh, Antoine Wartime said he should have put it put it on the left shoulder. Actually, oh, okay. to, to, to the outside, the outside shoulder. Let's see. Let, 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 let's see that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Go ahead, because you know them comments be hiding stuff sometimes. Let me yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it should have been on the left so shoulder. So we're gonna kind of see that again, as far as what shoulder should have been on. I think he actually put it on the right spot. It just that it just was too late. Them Chargers uniforms is nice though. I ain't even gonna lie though. I know, yeah, yeah, they are. They are. I always like the uniform. Well, I like the powder blues better. Yeah. Blue, my favorite color. I see what you're talking about. The left shoulder. I see what you're talking about. The left. Actually, he he. Either way, was still was still been good. Yeah. Yeah. See the left. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. What's up, Terra Falcons? Terra Falcons. Murder game. Murder game. Murder game. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Do not give this bag. <laughs> no reason I felt like doing it. You sound like you're cold over there, Miss Bagger. 
<laughs> <laughs> you need you need, you need some you need, you need some blood in there. You need some halls for that. <laughs> that beer must be too cold. <laughs> Oh, it's cold as ice. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we, we're going to talk about the play here that uh, um, K Styles was actually talking about earlier, where we're trying to make sense of it. I still don't know what in the world was going on on this one. What? Um, now, I'm pretty sure everybody in the comments, uh, y'all probably said the same thing whenever y'all seen this play. Uh, I, but I definitely said what in the world when I seen this, y'all. What in the world, about? Tara Falcon said, Maggie, whose birthday is it is? Um, it's, it's my it's, it's my daughter's birthday today. That's my niece. My baby niece is her first birthday, y'all. So we had well, she, she slept was, on her first birthday, so we just went <laughs> <laughs> Kalito, Kalito slept Kalito. first through the first birthday. We're going to do it again tomorrow when she awake about, about 2 o'clock probably. So we just wearing hats in honor of her, her first exactly. birthday. <laughs> I'll be through there to get some cake. Yes, come on. We got plenty because she got her own little cake and we got a big cake for everybody else. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, case, what, what in the world? What in the world, Bo? What um, in the world, Bo? So you know who this is out here, right? Is this Keith Smith on the outside, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I was like, what? <laughs> you see how the defense like, they're like, really? You're going to throw this guy out here? <laughs> look at the corner. Corner looking like, really? I bet you he don't throw it to him. <laughs> he actually threw it to him. <laughs> but in the world, bro. What in the world? Look at Tara Artists talking about, yeah, Rob kill for his man. Yeah, <laughs> and the fact is, he was the third option on the play. Yeah, yeah. That, that, like I said, that right there was terrible. So if we look at how this one unfolded, because like oh, I yeah. said, guys, over and over, offensive coordinator's job is to make sure that guys have opportunities. So this play was a – let me see. What was this play? It looked like a three-step drop. Like I said, yeah, I think so. This was first and ten. So, think, uh, like, Miss Maggie, what do I always say, Miss Maggie? What do I always say? What do you always say you say a lot, Big Low. I always say you got to you, you got to live to fight another day. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got to live to fight another day. That's right. That's right. You ain't so. no player. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Brown. So. Whenever, whenever you put, whenever you put a, a fullback in a situation like this, unless he's, I, I don't know what fullback would, would, would run a, a route like this and be successful. Um, you put the ball at risk. As a quarterback, you never want to put the ball at risk. So, like I said, as an offensive coordinator, his main goal is to make sure that they have that they have uh, opportunities. You know, to, to make plays. So if it's a first and ten, if we get anything over three yards, that's a success. You know, second and seven, anything less than that, I'm good with it. I don't never want to see second and ten. I don't never want to see that. So okay. So my my question would be for this play is how I'm about to say, okay, you could rewind that right back. I want to see what type of how many steps back, what what type of drop back this was. Okay. Okay, even from the shotgun position. I want to see how many I don't want to see how many steps you took. And somebody else asked again One, whose birthday two, is it while this play going. It's um K Styles' daughter's first birthday, my niece. So we we celebrated for her. <laughs> but look at this play though. Yeah, yeah. My only problem with this play was it should have been a one-step drop, to be honest. Yeah. One Take one step and go. One step right there. You got the circle right there. Like I said, even if it wasn't going to be about six or say it might have been four or five, I'd have rather, like you said, I'd rather took that second and six. Yeah, yeah. Or that third and five, whatever, whatever damn down it was. Yeah, I definitely agree with you, man. See, see, I think what the problem was, like I said, the packaging was terrible on this play. 
that if you was gonna put a running back out there, that should have been Brian, at least Brian Hill, or you could have threw Jaden Graham out there. At least you have somebody that is susceptible to catching passes. <laughs> hey, bro, I then nobody is open at all. <laughs> hey, bro, I just don't know what to tell you on that one. Now, this is this, this is a, a, a this was a positive in my mind. And it, look, it might be something that's that's y'all might not think is important, but a third and one with five minutes and fifty seconds left in the first I'm in the first half. Um, look, we're trying to get touchdowns and not field goes. I love to see young way cool kid, but I exactly, like it when it's that. But I don't want to see him, you know, until we score a touchdown. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, this is where we had issues at before. We had issues with, you know, getting those first downs in situations like this. Um, and I really like this particular play because um, I feel like it was creative. So tell me what you seen there, K Styles. I mean, the play hadn't even ran yet, but just tell me what you see about this motion. All right, let's check this motion out. God damn! <laughs> God damn! We man, that was a formation shift. Right? That looked like a different formation, shift, but it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and the thing is that they still haven't finished going in motion. So remember, like, this is third and one now. Yes. Okay, so the, so the thing is, okay, full back dive. Damn it, that's what you're supposed to do on third and one. Full back dive. Yes, yes, yes. We haven't seen that yet this year. We haven't seen anything like that. What's up, Ice Finesse? What's good, y'all? What's going on, Ice? Ice in the building. If y'all watching I, this I right said, now, go ahead and stream, share the stream, hit like, subscribe. Oh. I'm putting the links in the chat. Make sure you give these people a subscribe. Big Low Country. Hey, hey Styles. Look, Big Low just trying to get to 300. 200. 200. Yeah, 200. He's trying, he trying to get to 200. You trying to get to 150. I'm trying to get to 100. <laughs> I, I, I'm, the, I'm the runt of the list. I'm the one that nobody cares about. But since no, you for said, real, you're gonna get your your so, surprise. But, but since somebody said young way cool, and like I said, thanks to the homie Rich, and I know this is already in here. Oh <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shout out to Rich Brooklyn Bird. Shout out to Rich for this one. <laughs> Oh, 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 what, what, what? Uh-oh, what, what, It's the mad what, side. What? 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 Nah, it's the number one. What, what, what? What, what, what? I ain't the mad side of the day. Man. What, what, what? 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 So, Mike, basically what we were doing is. I've been watching. I've been watching, and I've been, I've been. Now he froze. <laughs> I, I've been watching. I, I've been watching, and 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 and. I, I, I think he's going to. Oh, I'm about to say. I think he went to switch mode there, right quick. I'm waiting. I, 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 I've yeah. been. I've been watching, and I've. I've been. Looking. I've been listening. I've been looking at all these dumbass formations all goddamn game. <laughs> I've been watching all these dumbass formations for a long time. Who the hell puts a fullback at receiver? <laughs> and we don't even use. <laughs> we don't even. Use bad call. That was a terrible call. Low, low, that, that was a terrible pass. That, that oh, wasn't oh, even man. high school level. Okay, oh, that, that was stupid. Oh, hold, hold. That wasn't even a high school. At least in high school, you actually use the fullback. We don't even use the fullback. So why even call that crap? Hey, hey, Mike, I got hey, Mike. And I you players in bad positions. Not just Matt Ryan, but you put Keith Smith. I'm sorry, K Style. I got to get this out. But you put Keith Smith in a position to look like absolute trash. 
That man looked like absolute garbage. You put that man in there to look like the worst fullback in the league. That's how guys stay on the free agency list because of stuff like that. Hey, I got a problem with that. This is why I got a huge problem with with uh. I got a huge problem with that. I got a huge problem with any coach that put players in positions like to look like shit. So I, since I got that out of my system. I, I think I can cool down right now, but man, might have to go on a motherfucking rant. I haven't been on a goddamn rant in a long time, okay? Yeah, Excuse you know, my friends, but I haven't been on a damn rant in a while, right? All right, so hey, let's, let's 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 go. No, uh, no more cursing right, so, for me. Hey, look, no more cursing for me. Look, I had to get that out. Hey, look, so before, before we get before we get to the next part of it, so would you all agree that <laughs> when we saw Keith Smith out there on the fly? This is how we look like when we saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you agree with that, Mike? So, look, Quentin Willis said Keith Smith was on the jug machine all week and thought he was That's Jerry Rice yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah, like that. <laughs> he said, hey, he said he to could... read the comments for now, y'all, yeah. since it's gonna block uh, Matt right. Mike's face. He, he he said he was he said he was trying I mean, to be who he was know, this week. I, I don't I don't remember. Uh, Y'all remember them glasses? Them glasses when you put the glasses on, you see somebody pretty and you take the motherfuckers off, you see somebody ugly. Yes, I forget what it was. I think it was a cartoon or something. That's dirt cutter. That's what dirt cutter sees. All right. That's him. That's exactly what he sees when he look at uh Houston. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So uh, and you know, this is basically kind of what, what Mike was kind of uh, hitting on, y'all. All season we haven't used the full bag. So we get down in the red zone on this particular play, third and one, and I guess monkeys do fall out of trees sometimes with Mackey T because I be doggone. We used the fullback this time. Fullback died. So I and and look, I think that this was a pretty good play call by Dirk. And this is why I say that this is one of the best games that he's called this season. Because, you know, we all what we all know is, you know. There's no such thing as a good turd, right? Mm. <laughs> so, so it's like, whenever I say that he called the best game that he's called all season, I'm not saying that it was a stellar game. You know, putting Keith Smith out of the X wide receiver, that's not the right call to make. But, I mean, look, play calls like this, I, I think it was, it, it was it was a pretty good decision. Yeah, even even the dumbest person uh, is 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 due to be smart at one particular look good. Wrong clock. Uh, a clock is right twice. A wrong clock is right twice a day, right? <laughs> All right. Why twice a day, bro? Twice a day. I'm just a huge fan of putting players in position to succeed. That's that's just I, I I can't get over it's like even if a player like for me if a player fails you got to look at the play design how how uh, how it all went down you know what I'm saying like if, if a player throws an interception you got to look at every aspect of that interception and not just say okay it's an inter interception you know what I'm saying it's like I, I I look at everything 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 in its in its entirety. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I completely agree with you. So, uh, Cookie by Ninja said, "How the hell you run jumbo and run behind the backup LT?" <laughs> <laughs> I guess Dirk was saying, "Man, they probably won't expect this." <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really gonna break this play down, y'all. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Laquan Treadwell for scoring that touchdown. Um. You know, he's been through a lot, so I'm just going to let this play. It's going to be his little highlight here. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's that, uh, that yeah, Comcast. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that's that former that friend network. That's those, that's those linebackers you were talking about earlier, K-Styles, are trying to get that bill. What's up, old man? What's up, old man? How you doing, Phil? How you doing? What's Everybody saying my hat cute. Oh, can y'all watch the football play? <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you better get used to this because you know once you stop on, they're gonna be like, 
Fuck everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I want to give me one moment, all right? All right. We're going to read comments while you um loading back up. So, Dirk is shallow hair. <laughs> Exactly. What's going on with my hat? Hold on, what is it? Hold on, let's see what's the said Laquan Treadwell sat in the sat in the end zone. The damn show did. <laughs> oh look, Triple G said, What? Here what? Comes what? The, what? He, he, said, he said, Here comes the we need to grab hey, a mobile quarterback. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to say this right now. My my bad. But I don't know if I want to say this right now, but um the Falcons have interviewed um, two guys um, for general manager, and both of these guys, when you look at their 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 uh, resume, both of these guys are highly defensive. Okay, uh -oh. I know a lot of people going to be in their feelings about that, but these guys have a, a defensive background. Robinson and Rick Smith, both of those guys have a huge a huge defensive uh, background to a lot. And I mean, prominent guys that I've, you know, spoken highly of, uh, oh, if you Twitter follow my Wait channel. So, Twitter. so uh, Twitter. yeah. So you guys go check out. Um, I may do a video tomorrow expanding um, more so on this, but the Falcons have definitely interviewed. And in, like, again, this, this doesn't in any way say where they're going to go for certain but there's a high probability of what the falcons are looking for when you interview two guys with the background of these you know these two candidates so um we will continue to look at um and report on you know the interview the guys who will be interviewed but um if you go oh, look at the uh it. their background these okay. guys have a high defensive they have a high defensive background um mm -hmm. and if you know anything about uh mr blank and his history and his resume and what he's done past as far as the guys that he's hired um this should tell you a lot it should tell you a lot of what the falcons are thinking Again, this is not for hey, look, sure. Say, you know, but hey, I'm about to say I know this is kind of off topic, but I'm about to say Twitter is a mud right here because they show they 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 getting on James Harden ass, and I'm gonna show y'all what they did to him. Hold on. Oh Lord. Hold on. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mark Henry. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I've seen the joke about him, but oh my God, he don't gain a lot of weight. I told you. I told you he looked like me out there. <laughs> 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 you don't want to look like this. You don't want them problems. Man. All right. So, so basically, guys, going into the halftime, uh, we went to halftime 17 to 10, right? Right. So at that point in time, Matt Ryan was 14 of 18 for 161 yards. Um, I mean, you know, he he was having a pretty good game. Uh, let's take a look at that. I tell you what, let's take a look at that crazy uh third down conversion that Russell Gage had on a third and 17, where the Chargers did their best Atlanta Falcons impression. Let's take a look at that. I mean, so we all agree that Matt was cooking all throughout the game. Um, so, you know, this was a third and 28 situation. I tell you what, K-Styles, you tell me what you see here, and then, you know, we'll just kind of break it down from there. Okay, I see you. I call I call this the um the black China defense because <laughs> it's wide open. <laughs> um, oh look, cookie by nature, it's Cecil, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'll do it all to you. 
You're right on. Appreciate <laughs> you. Um, let's get it, Georgia. Let's get it, GA. DSGB, my click. All the money that we can get. I'm big. I like fit. Big bro. Pitting it up out your door. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. This hat does stay on. I'm about to say. Say. I'm just moving it. <laughs> moving it. <laughs> so, so we're so we're gonna we're gonna call this the Black China defense because like you said, no. okay, it's, it's, it, it, it's busted wide open. Um, oh, so um, what we're looking at is it looks pre-snap looks cover four. Pre-snap. Man, pre-snap, this look like complete shit. I already know that this defense is going to be destroyed from pre-snap. Just looking at it. But I don't know what the – All you have on, to do is two crowds. And that – Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, this defense already looks bad already. Cause they and nobody, nobody's moving their feet. No, I'm, talk, I'm talking about if you look at before the ball Not was snapped, one. Uh-oh. You want to look at you want to look at the corner snap. snap. Oh snap! Got Jay Rock in the house. What's up, Jay? Hey, Jay Rock. What's up? Holly Berry. A hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> don't y'all start. Don't y'all. Start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna put the jacket on. But like, oh, there you go. Oh, y'all want to see the jacket? I mean, yeah. yeah, put the jacket oh, on. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Yo, we all got to beg you too hard, dude, Rock. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. There you go. Now. That thing clean, though, boy. That thing clean. That thing clean. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's going on, bro? <laughs> uh, all right, Rock. So, we basically looking at this third down and 17 conversion that we made. Um, yeah, I, I think K-Styles was trying to say something about the, the defense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it just it just screams no confidence at all. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's see how what we got here. Cookie by nature said Russell Gage, aka Mad Mike Twin, with the catch. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do kind of look like Mike though. <laughs> Real talking. He didn't even think he was going. He thought he was going to get hit immediately. <laughs> Okay, stay I need another bill. This ain't Batman Mike. This ain't Batman Mike. This is about this is about Russell Gage. Okay. Let's let's talk about Russell Gage. That man don't look like me, man. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> y'all could be brothers. Hey, I'm about to say we got a special guest in here too. Uh oh, is that the birthday girl? Birthday girl. Aww. Hey, birthday girl. Hey girl. Oh hey, hey Cowie. Oh, how old did she turn? She turned one. She is officially oh, one okay, years old. Okay. Oh, yeah, she was smiling. Mm, yeah. Yo, she don't have a whole nap the whole afternoon. No, she don't. She's going to be turned up. Yeah, we talking about you. I know, right? She locked in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she talking, too. Oh, she she crump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Kyle, let, let, let's see what you're doing. Uh-huh. Uh, she all oh, in. she turned. She don't have her good nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pokey pie. Hey, pokey pie, we wear hats for you. Hey, today. I feel like I'm ruining. The, I'm ruining the moment right now because I see everybody got hats on. And well, I was yeah, just well, getting yeah. on y'all in the chat. Well, I put mine on. You guys be wet, bro. I only put mine on. You told me wear mine, man. I did that. <laughs> I tell you what, I got you, Rock. I got you. I got, I got you, Rock. You, you ain't alone. All right, all right. So, so, you ain't gotta be alone, bro. I mean, it's still, it, it's still three to two, though. <laughs> we gotta sing for Kylie, though. We gotta sing. I want all the people in the chat, on YouTube, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Twitch, anywhere. We're gonna say Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's going crazy. She like, yeah, this is my moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, y'all got the bass, y'all. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> you online right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, she be talking, talking. She be talking. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, she ain't going to bed no time soon. Watch that case style. You're gonna be up. That man said I, he said I'm sipping on ripple. What? Ripple. <laughs> I ain't heard that. Ripple. I haven't heard that before. Oh, ever. Ripple. Ripple. oh no, that, that, that ripple we don't took his back from ripple. <laughs> All right, man, the night is your ass, ain't it? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right, y'all. So like a prohibition guy, he got a goddamn Al Capone sweet uh, drink out there. Remember? Ripple. I ain't never heard. I ain't heard this in so long. <laughs> Who the hell drink Ripple? Of oh, Johnny dude. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a Johnny. But uh, okay. all right, y'all. So. So, so one of the interceptions that Matt threw this week, uh, I actually had a chance to, because, you know, I watch film study all the time. I actually uh, related to a similar play that happened earlier this season. Um, and in that play, Matt actually made the right decision. So uh, <laughs> this was a, a week 11 against the Saints. Oh. So whenever we, we did it, you know, Julio was actually healthy. So we ran a double Come post on. route and, um, you know, we were trying to, we were trying to sing, we were trying to single out this safety here, uh, to make him pick his poison. So in this particular situation, Saints played it well. They, they, they played this play well. So we all know that that West coast offense, you always look out first, look, see if you're going to take the shot like little John, if you can't, then we're going to check it down. Cause once again, Maggie, what do we say? <laughs> what you say? What you say? You live to fight another there day. Go. There you go. All right. So in this particular situation, let's see how. Let's see what we did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me add. I, 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 we gotta add a little something. It really depends on when and what the score is. Yeah. When so, you live so, to fight another day. Yeah, okay. Sure. So on this one right here. So on this one, this was the this was the first play of the game. So it was a first to ten situation. Okay. So first and ten, first play of the game, we were trying to hit him in the mouth off the top. I think, I think, I think uh, he, uh -huh. he might. I, I think, I think it really depends on one. I, I think it depends on your record and how the offense is going. I, I like, I hear you, but depending on the offense, if your offense is already shaky, if your offense is going well, man, I think you can afford. To take the chance, especially if your defense going playing well, the, the Falcons, I think you can kind of take chances. So, um, it it, de it depends. Okay. On that so, philosophy, live the another day. It really depends yeah. on if your defense. If your defense freaking suck, like we, if our defense sucked the way it did in the early in the season, then you know what I'm saying. Don't you live to fight another day? But the Falcons defense is playing well, so I think you can. Matt knows um, as a as a veteran quarterback. You know when you can take chances and when you can't. And late in the game, I don't think you can make those chances. You live a lot of uh, live to fight another day late in the game. But early in the game, I think you can kind of get away with that with this Falcons defense that's playing right now. Okay. So let's take a look at this particular one. So this was early in the game. And you see here, try to single out that safety. We checked it down. Okay. So, I see we so now we got it. So now we got a second and four. And let's look at it from the Miss America side, the pretty side. Pretty side, pretty side. <clears throat> What's up, Jarvis? So we're going to call this the Holly Berry side. A uh, uh, hallelujah. I hallelujah. see um, some who that's done showed up. They like this. No, we're going to call that the Rihanna side. The hell, the hell oh, the hell Holly oh, yeah. Berry, that's the Rihanna side. Man, whatever the hell you call it, pretty goddamn is all pretty. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 we would agree that in this particular situation, Matt made the right football play, right? You know, right. based on the down distance, first and ten, first play of the game, we would agree that he made the right choice. Yeah, everything was covered up. But I mean, you know, we we're moving forward. It's second and going to be what second and six. 
Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so, so we would agree that that's the case in this particular situation. Now, let's go to Sunday. So, oh, now we're later in the game, uh, and it's a case where you know this is a first and ten. 17 to 10, we got the lead. We've held them to 10 points. They've been checking down the whole game and just throwing screen passes. So they haven't been taking shots. If we keep playing the way we're playing and get another score or two, we definitely have a chance to win this game. So let's take a look at that. And, you know, we're going to do like we always do, and we're just going to take a look at it first to see what we got. So – Look, I they see. already know what's coming. From, they already know just the way they align. They so, already so, know what's coming. So, so what do you think that they think is coming? They know the prey that you just previous just they um that you just previous played. They know exactly that play is coming just by well, their lineup. You see, how the defensive back is sitting on the outside shoulder. He's already pushing them inside. Towards the safety, he knows that he knows that uh, that is playing. Look at the linebackers also. The linebackers are closer to the lineup, to the line, so they know exactly they know it's coming. Yeah. So, so one thing that I see in this one, I see that this line is playing offset. Uh, the, the linebackers are playing mm-hmm. offset, so most of the linebackers um, and that safety that came down, uh, they're on the right side of Alex Mack. Because we have this this loaded offensive line and these two tight ends moved over here, so since we got those guys over here, it's almost like they think we're going to run it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Um, so, I, can I can I rebuttal that real quick? Just rebuttal uh, that. Okay. I don't think I, I think for a fact because the Falcons are one of those teams that don't necessarily run the ball i think what they're doing they're protecting themselves as a defense just on the lineman base you know what i'm saying okay okay well let's see how they line up after we go in motion so we go in motion just taking a look at it now uh i'm, I'm looking at this linebacker here uh, he he's mm-hmm. looking like he, he thinks somebody's going to run something now this this guy right here, he, he has a foot back like he's going to drop back. Now, this is a lot like that play against the Saints game, uh, in that Saints game. But the, the thing is, is that instead of Julio coming in motion, since we're lined up in that that, that power eye formation, um, uh, 22s in this particular case, uh, Hayden Hurst is going to come down. And, you know, let's just take a look at it and see how it goes. So, so we took the shot, and as you can see, Tennessee. there were those three guys back there. But one thing that I see, oh, I got, I'm gonna play that. Yeah, I said play that again. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to see how the spacing looks with these routes. I'm trying. I'm trying to pay attention to the safety. Yeah, so so uh, Hayden, he's actually going to run a uh, – Hayden's actually going to run a – give me one moment. I got to get plugged up here, y'all. <laughs> Yo, we would have been, <laughs> been made breaking stuff down all of a sudden. Is about the break? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, right. <laughs> so, hey, um, so Hayden, hey, he's running that. Out. Hold on, let's get it. GA got the five dollar super chat. Say big low. Thank you. He just runs the post. Hey, we appreciate it, man. Run like, like a sluggo. So you say he got the sluggo. That was much right? love, fam. Much love. It's much much love. Let's yeah, see. yeah. All right. All right, let's see what you got. So. So Hayden, he's running that, he's running that post. So as we can see here, that safety, he was gonna come down, but now he's now he he's basically just turned around and he, he's trying to get back to make sure that he covers his side. Right. So there it looks like 
they're running like a, a like a almost like a, a cover three, or they he may just change things up because he sees that Hayden Hurst is going to run this run this skinny post. But um, keep your eye on Ty Gurley down here, and just hey, remember that play that we had in the run right there. Right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jay Rock. What you say? Yeah, I, I really think they was expecting a run, though. I, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. They were. You can just tell by everybody's body language. Because everybody right. you see here, he he put his foot in the ground. He's trying to bounce back. Right. And we already everybody knew that was going to drop. So Hayden Hurst motioning over kind of just opened that window of it. So that's what, you know, they, they made it seem like Todd Gurley would have probably ran on the other side. So Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yep, Todd Gurley, wide open. Wide open. You see all this room out here? Y'all see all this? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Re- take it back just a couple of uh, steps back. There's two things that I see even right there. Um, the defensive tackle, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan already made that decision right there that mm-hmm. he was going to throw that ball. But yeah, because the way how far he dropped back. back. Exactly. Yeah, he already made that decision where he was going to throw that, and then having that defensive tackle in his face, you know, come out, uh, come rush to him, it kind of, you know, made him think a little bit, a lot faster than what he normally would have been. So it, it was two things on that. Matt already had made that decision; he was going to throw that. It didn't matter who was going to be there. Matt was going to throw that ball, and then yeah. the defensive tackle came in and got the pressure. And kind of forced him to throw it just a little bit, a, a lot faster than what he typically would have. Yeah, but that right there—that's that, all on Matt. Like that—that that right there is Matt. Yeah, and a little, yeah. like I said it's a little bit of pressure. It's a little bit of both. Matt Ryan already making that decision that he was going to throw it, yeah. and that defense tackle getting the pressure. So there were two things on that play. That so right there, you know what I'm saying? It forced him right there. Forced him. As you can see, that safety he's already he's already breaking because mm-hmm. and, and whenever we look at it from the pretty side, um, like I said earlier, J. Rock, when I was talking to Miss Maggie T, whenever we look at it from the pretty side, I want you to keep your eye on on, on the logo on Matt Ryan's helmet to see how how often he turns his head to see where everywhere he's looking because and we're also going to look to see if he even kind of takes a glance at, at, at Ty Gurley because this should have been a check down situation. The fact that uh the fact that he was getting this pressure, that's even more of a reason not to slay that ball downfield. Because you want to make this you want to make the safe throws. See it's kind of like what Mike was saying earlier. And that's that's what that's exactly what I was about to say. That that's why I say it depends on I think a lot of that meant the meant this this is what a lot of people, when you're playing the, the quarterback position, and I like I, I play quarterback position, that mentality, you know when you can take chances with the mm-hmm. ball. And I think that's what Matt Ryan, now that he has a defense, he's taking more chances than he did earlier in the season. Early in the season, he wasn't make, taking any chances. Now he has a defense, he can afford to kind of, you know, and, and that mentality – Kind of came back to hunt him towards the end of the end of the game um, because he got you know he got happy. Yeah, he got frog. I'm taking care of that mentality. He got he got happy. He got that mentality. I need to make make some plays, and um, it, it, it really just got in some bad some bad habits doing that thing um, during the end of the game. And, and, and you know, it's, it's one of those cases because we were talking about down the distance earlier. So in this particular case, when we're on the on the 43, first and 10 with a seven point lead, you know, there, there's no need to be taking shots right now. Let's just try to win the game. Let's just try to live to fight another day. OK, go, go about, ahead. Case guys. I'm about to say I caught something here a little bit. And you probably going to see it from – you're going to probably see it from the Rihanna side, as Mike call it. But from what I see here is I think he went through his progressions too slow. Mm, like because earlier. Because if you if you pay close attention, like I said, we could say he could have hit that swing route. 
But you have to look, if you look, you said the defensive tackle was breathing down his neck. The other tackle was in his throwing lane. So he, like I said, mm-hmm. so even if he was committed to it, because like you said, Lo, he is already that pressure really affects the quarterback mentality. Yeah. So, so, like you said, so, yeah, okay, so they got both, they got both down. See, now, see, if right he there. Been, see, yeah. if he would have went through his progressions quicker, he would have hit the swing route. But, like Mike said, he was determined to get Calvin Ridley on that deep post route. Exactly. Exactly. And that's – they remember what we said in the chat during that game. Matt got greedy on this play. This was, yeah. a, this was mm-hmm. a greedy play. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. It's kind of like what DMX used to say back in the day. Stop being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, go ahead. Go ahead and play it from this side. Okay, so you got a little – Got some play so, so, so watch his head, J Rock. Watch his head. Watch him. Yep, he's staring at he's staring he's down still, really he's still staring way. at it. He's he was staring, staring at that thing like, like he was staring at that thing like he watching Sarah Baker uh a lemon rain pie. <laughs> hey, hey, run it back again. I think somebody missed a block. It looked like somebody was struggling too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why I saw too. I was trying to catch out who it was. And cook it by nature said Ridley's efforts could have been better too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would have mattered in that play because it was already, like I said, once he stared him down, the safety already knew where to go. It was sixty-five. I, 65 I mean, I, that was. Oh, oh, oh you mean, talking about? You talk. Hold on, let's see. Talk right here. Yeah, yeah. why would you go? He went McCray. low. McCray, what the? Heck? Hold on, hold on. We're, 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 we're winding back before the snap. I don't even know. I don't even what know what he's doing right there. The hell he, <laughs> he went super low, I guess. Well, you know, it, back in, so in high school, they they always teach they always teach guys on the on the offense and defensive go. lines. You want to have a flat back we'll go whenever you engage. Right, right, right. But you know, this is the pros. You know, you come in there with a flat back, you gonna you, you gonna line you you gonna end up with a dirty with, with a dirty belly if you come in here with a flat back because ain't nobody they're just gonna push you down. So uh yeah, I mean yeah, his his technique was terrible here. All right, so go ahead and play. You say he had a flat back, but he ended up with dirty draws after this play. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, that was terrible. So Alex Mack tried to pick it up. Yeah. So would have, it it would have been a lot, it, it would have been more protected Who if is that? McCray didn't come. McCray. McCray. He's probably gonna be and selling see, cars next year. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. It would have been, yeah, he would have had more time to kind of survey the field if McCready mm-hmm. really didn't mess right. up that block. I don't know what the hell he was because doing. because honestly, if you rewind that again, I mean, he he looks still he he still looks lost. Like after the fact that like okay, I just lost this one on one. Alex Mack picked it up, and he's like way near uh, Jake Matthews. He still looked lost. Like just. Wait, 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 wait. And you gotta know, Jay Rock, is that you no? Know, we were just looking at it in slow motion. So if we look at it in regular motion, things happen a lot faster. Yeah, that's so true. Let's see. Take a look here. And Devon Standard first said, instead of going for the home run shot down the field, why not play it safe and throw it to Todd? Yeah, I mean, at the same time too, when you, I think that's that's the thing. Um, Matt Ryan playing with a guy like Julio and you see and that's why I say the thing you don't know what happens in practice you know what I'm saying like Calvin Ridley may have made that plays in, in practice the entire you know all, all week and then when you get in play when you get in you know the game and you run that same play um, you expect Calvin Ridley to do exactly what he's been doing in practice and that, like I, like Again, it just goes in that mentality, man. I, I think you gotta um, really just play games, um, play the game by you know the moment. I don't think at that moment, that particular moment, Matt should have you know made his decision so quickly. He should have um, spent a little bit of time surveying the field a little bit more. Nick Turner said, "DTs will drive you to the ground and lay on you." Yeah, pancake, aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, baby. I like a Rudy Tootie, fresh, fresh and fruity. And fruity. <laughs> hey, I'm about to say, 
Um, McCrary looked familiar on that play. You want to know why I say he looked familiar? Uh oh. Uh oh. What you got? Do y'all remember this? What you got? Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> no. You man, can't man, 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 man. like Jamon Brown on that play. Oh yeah, he boy, he had a rough season, man. <laughs> I know somebody still got that clip out there where he was like, "Ah right, man." Oh, I got it. You, it's on man, my sports, baby. Come on, man. <laughs> I know. Come I know. On, I know. That J Rock. I know that J Rock used that in past tense. He said that he had a bad season because he got released. <laughs> He got he 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 played for them twice this year and got released. <laughs> Man, so 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 once again, this is another situation where we're talking about situational football. So now we're in the third quarter, guys. So oh. we're in the third quarter. Uh, I'm sorry, the fourth quarter. I apologize. Now we're in the fourth quarter. Here so we go. Uh, looks like you know. So we're tied seventeen to seventeen. Remember, we went into the. Uh, the second half, seventeen to ten. Mm-hmm. So you know we 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 missed an opportunity for three points or seven points on that interception. So this particular play right here. So we got another third and one. Um. So y'all tell me like you know what y'all see for this particular play and see you know y'all let me know what y'all think. Well, the corner at the bottom is kind of giving away. It it it. He's playing out. He's playing the outside shoulder. Uh, who is that? Casey Hayward. Yeah, he's yeah. like he playing outside shoulder. It, it, they're, they're they're trying to show um, a cover like a cover one man with the deep safety, because if you look at all the set the corners and the safety on the, on the uh, bunch side with the tight ends, it's kind of bunched up. Mm. But Casey Hayward down here it look like he's playing outside technique on really. So, yeah. So usually, what we see with the outside technique is he's basically going to try to take everything outside, try to take it to the safety. Mm. So, okay, this is the perfect. Ch- this is the per- this is the perfect opportunity to, to send your your tight end in motion and force him to take that safety out um, hey. because he's playing a leverage. If you- um, either uh, a circle route with the running back, or you have a tight end go in in that position. The Falcons should always have, um, and this is why I've been saying that you have to use Hayden Hurst more because of techniques like this. If you if, if he's playing outside leverage on Calvin Ridley, you want Calvin Ridley to be outside. Why? Because you got a weapon like Hayden Hurst in the middle. And the Falcons haven't been using uh, Hayden Hurst that way. So that's as a quarterback and as an offensive coordinator, somebody who's studying film, man, this right here from the Falcons really frustrates me. Hey, Cookie by nature said, I hope this is not the play, action play that I wanted to fight girly for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. Me, myself, as a, yeah, as a defensive, as a defensive uh, coach, I'm scared to death when I see this because because they have numbers. They have, you know, they have more big guys. They have um they have uh a offset uh line and it looks like they got three tight ends uh lined up to one side and defensive line you know, got four defensive linemen and they literally just have seven people in the box. So that's a that, I was sitting here thinking, okay, it looks like we're going to run Ty Gurley with this one. Huh? What, what we do, though. What we do, though. What we do let's is check. run that. Let's check what we let's see what we got. I remember this play. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh uh um, yeah. uh you, you, you know where I'm about to go with this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I Ty exactly. Gurley. That's exactly Ty Gurley. <laughs> what in the world, Bo? What in the world, Bo? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, 
You had to bring it out. I had to bring it out. I ain't did it all week. You I sure was, haven't brought it all week. You haven't done it all week. That's funny. That's the first one, bro. Um, somebody, somebody was on the parallel universe side of the game with this play. Go on, go on, go on, go on, play the shit. Got yeah, it. yeah, play yeah. Run us some more. Play, play the shit. Play There's it. a big miscommunication somewhere. What in the hell? What in the world? Yeah, and this one Matt threw to the ground, and then it wasn't in like an intentional grounding. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was terrible. Yes, yeah, that play was terrible. I don't, I don't know what <laughs> happened. We got, we got. There was a Todd girl, Todd girl forgot that play. And the fact of the matter is that if if if, if everything would have came together, it, it possibly could have been a touchdown. Nick Turner said, uh, "Dirk Curry be calling plays like he cockeyed." <laughs> <laughs> but but my thing is about this play. This is what I was saying. You know what? I don't think, I, I think it was a miscommunication. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. It was a miscommunication. Yeah. He, Cause Ty Gurley even did did the arm action like he got the hand off. Motherfucker, the hand off was on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because this is where I was confused. Because when when Hayden Hurst twirled around, I know he was looking at girl like, "Wait, where are you going?" <laughs> but my thing is, here's what I was here's what I was saying earlier in the week. Why are we running a damn pass play on a third and one? Exactly. They try to they be. They know cute. we're not going to run them. They try. They, we, they know we're not going to run. Them. And yeah, I'm like, uh, like I know at one point in the game we did give it to Keith Smith. Why not give it to him here? If y'all really not, if y'all really not confident of Gurley getting one yard, give it to the fullback. I don't understand why the fullback is on our team and we don't use him. I said, give, it to Eno. give it to Brian Hill. Or, or you know, see, uh, Cutter would have been like, oh yeah, let's let's line Keith Smith up. Why? Oh. Uh, Tara Falcon said um, DK needs to get Hayden Hurts more involved. I agree with you. Yeah. Shit, we've been calling for it all year. And I'm this telling offense you, is, uh, I'm this, saying, this I'm offense is I'm about to say, I'm going to say this is going to be the part They got Key Slip out here. I wouldn't be surprised if you see motherfucking Young Way cool lined up and wide receiver the way that shit. <laughs> Devon Johnson is uh, K Styles' daughter's first birthday. My niece is her first birthday, so we celebrating for her. Hey, yeah. K Styles slept the whole time. K Styles, I was gonna say if if <laughs> if Young Koo couldn't kick the ball at one point this season, <laughs> what makes you think they're gonna line his ass up? Shit, they they you put a damn full back to run a damn hook route, motherfucker. Anything. <laughs> oh, don't tell Mike that. He, oh yeah, he tired of looking at those. <laughs> you know I said we already got enough hook. I mean, I don't even want to understand that damn play. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't even understand that damn play. That play was just just freaking retarded, man. Just just I don't even, what the hell. The action, I like everything that don't make sense in that particular moment. Hey look, Nick, hey, look, Nick Turner, I like, I love fullback. Fullback is my favorite position on the field. But, <laughs> bro, you got to have a fullback that actually is uh, versatile enough to catch. Keith Smith is not catching the ball. <laughs> to be honest with you, the last time we had a, a decent fullback was Patrick DeMarco. Mm. Yeah, you talk about as far as a, as a guy that can catch passes out the backfield, yeah. Keith Smith ain't catch. Keith Smith's best job is to half-ass run block and get special teams tackles. That's what Keith Smith does. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you you don't have Man. you don't have a Kyle Juszczyk out there or no Anthony Sherman out there. You ain't right. Tackled. This guy, I'm so look, coach. I'm surprised you ain't just showed a place where he was lined up with shotgun at the Matt Ryan. I'm about to say, oh my god. <laughs> Hey man, I don't know. I don't know who Dirk Cutter thinks Keith Smith is. I told you, Keith, like, like you said, Keith Smith was on the jug machine saying I can catch Pat. He thought he was Julio Jones this game. I think, I think Dirk Cutter owes Keith Smith some money. That's what I think. <laughs> Clay Melton said, Here's my token Dirk Cutter sucks comment. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 
Clay Melton, always coming with the gold. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this one right here, we got a second and 17. Uh, hey, look, we're still tied. 17-17, three minutes left in the game. So this, oh. this is our shot. This is our shot. I know Man, that Maggie P, I know that your I know that your daughters drive you crazy with Hamilton all the time. So we can't waste our shot. You know. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, before you do it, I want to get to a couple comments right quick. Devon Stanford said if Keith Smith get a ball throw to him, I bet he looks at Matt Ryan and says, You sure, bro? <laughs> 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 oh, and, Man, and Harrison the Bunny asked me why why is Dirt Cutter so bad? Um, have you? I have a whole compilation on why he's bad. <laughs> we call him Farmer Friend for a reason. Oh, no. to what the fuck he talking about? Like this game he called wasn't a bad game, but as far uh, Hey, Coach, I got a question. So who's in charge of packages as far as what personnel to put on the field? Offense coordinator. Dirk Cutter. Exactly. You see that. You, you, you just seen it the last two or three plays. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, farmer friend is tech, bro. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> never know. You, you never know. Uh, uh, the next play, uh, the next game, you might – the next game, he might have uh, Matt Ryan hiking the ball or something. Hold on, you know hold on. Time out, time out, time out. I wanted to say this one thing, and I've seen this picture many times. Is that a whistle around his neck? Yes. 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 What you thought it was, J Rock? Oh, my God. No, I didn't. All, all I kept seeing was, like, I just looked at him. I never paid attention to the whistle. <laughs> oh. This picture a lot more funnier now. He just put yeah, two and two together. He'll blow his whistle and don't say what he. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm about to say, remember, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to give you the, um, the voicemail I got. Oh, Lord. You go. I got, I got what? I got to do something with my phone. So y'all keep going. This going to come out sooner or later. Okay. We're going we gonna to get the former friend voicemail. <laughs> Man, hey Harrison, the bunny said replace my papa with DK for the OC job. <laughs> <laughs> man, all right. So, look, man, second to seventeen, we're in field goal range. Uh, in the words of Hamilton, we're not going to waste our sh- shot. So you know, let's now. It's the time we the rubber's meeting the road, guys. We're running out of time. Three minutes, fifty-two seconds left. Well. Now's when we need to make the play. All right, so here we go. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all got as far as this uh this formation and uh, how it looks like the defense is going to attack it. Y'all tell me. Y'all think it's going to be man coverage, zone coverage? Tell me what y'all got. All right, I'm going I'm to let Farmer Fred tell you this. Oh, Lord. This picture is a lot more funny now. now that I see the name of I'm not even going to lie. You got to watch this. You... All right, so. A little pie on you. A little pie on it. I got to go watch that movie now. <laughs> K style, we finna watch that movie tomorrow. That's what we finna do. Right, cool shit. That's cool. <laughs> so y'all tell me what y'all see with this formation and everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be saying that shit all week. Y'all, y'all, y'all hey, shit. I'm gonna let y'all know that now. <laughs> well, basically what I see here is um defense looks uh, the pre-snap is he's pre-snapping. He's looking at the single high safety again, but it looks like it's going to be kind of like a cover cover six over as far as – I'm just looking at the corner down at the bottom because he is way off from playing outside. Mm-hmm. This Same thing at the top, off. too. This pisses me off. Why? Because we got a tight end that we could be using, and as to kill this entire defense 
and we're not even using them. I don't even want to fucking talk about it. Just run the damn clip, please. Just <laughs> <laughs> Mike, just run the damn play. We're going to throw three straight passes. <laughs> I mean, oh this, this, a tight end can really destroy this entire defense just by the way they're lined up, and we don't even use it. Like, this really – like it really annoys me to seeing this. All right, hey, hey, hey. He said he's gonna explain it again. Hold up. <laughs> Somebody said another one though. Watch this. <laughs> we gonna throw three straight passes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. So we, we so uh so we see that they they are going to put Hayden Hurst in motion. <laughs> so as you can see K Styles, you were right. They are zoning out. Um a big indication of that is cuz he seen that they weren't head up. Um <laughs> It, you know, I mean, they're, they're zoned out pretty well. So in cases like this, whenever you have five receivers that are going out, you know, you can pretty much kind of run anything. Somebody's going to be open if, the, if you know, as long as they're blocking. Uh, so let's just take a look at it uh, in slow motion, see how it goes. Yeah, body, 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 Hayden, body, 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 he I mean, of course, he course, take down. of course, that, that tight end didn't use his think, like he's not playing his position right. The tight end, you cannot excuse a tight end not using his body. Period. The end of anything, he did not use his body the correct way. <laughs> well, I was taking a look at this play, and so unless Hayden Hurst has four arms. <laughs> Goro, <laughs> he's not gonna be able to. He's not gonna be able to to, to use his body and, and, and you know create that space and catch at the same time. This is a bad play on Matt Ryan's part. And the reason I say this is the reason I say this is let's look at his helmet. Let's keep your eye on this helmet here. Don't tell me he done stared this guy down. He stared. Hey, I'm about to say there was something the defense did not. that I did not expect neither. There was something that What's they that, K -Style? you notice Joey Joe not yeah, well Joey Bosa, you know he he's in the two the two point stand, right? The two point stand technique, right? So, yeah, yeah, I seen that. He I seen Matt, that. Matt Gano was getting him that work all day. They were trying to find something different for him. For him to do, and he's mm -hmm. actually been pretty good. Yeah, he was. He did a real good job. He did a real good job. Now, pay pay attention to that matchup. I see Atlanta Falcons for life rise up. Said we need to run the damn football. Right. Look now, pay attention to that Gano matchup with Joy Bow. What's up, Curtis? Look at that. He. Let, let, let the, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back a couple more frames. Go back a couple more frames. The reason why I even say that, you got to know that defender has the ability to pick that ball off. And as a tight end, what you as a receiver, what they teach you to do also is to position yourself where only you can get the ball in, in case your quarterback could even if he makes a bad throw, if he keeps going into that uh, at that defender's body, 
that's an easier throw also. That's an easier catch. You, you eliminate the ability for him to intercept the ball. He has to learn how to protect the quarterback as well as the quarterback has to learn how to not you – know, he him not um, being able to um, make those bad throws. He has to protect his quarterback also. He did not protect Matt Ryan on top of that. That's just a win. Yeah. And Clay Melton said all um, five receivers are in two groups outside the numbers. Dirt cutter strikes again. I yeah. was going to so, say. I'm sorry. Go ahead, J Rock. I was going to say not only was a bad throw by Matt. Hayden Hurst also got to know his awareness of where he's at on the field because he's clearly running, right? And right and defender, right and right, the exactly. Defender. Yeah, and that's what's like he got to know like the field or where like where he's at. Like run the play real quick. So he's facing the defender, and then he does like that he's simple he's curl run. Right. Oh, yeah, he right. was there. He was there, right. he was there already. By the time he finished his route, he was already sitting on that. Yeah, because but Hayden Hurst, Hayden Hurst runs the route that's given to him. And if I think, he's, I think he, he should have broke that a little quicker. If he goes yeah, into that, that also, that's, that's, he forces yeah. that defender. He forces that defender to go through him, and that's a penalty on the defender if he goes through Hayden. Mm -hmm. And that's where you got to use your body as like like a Julio, like a um, like a Michael Thomas. These guys know how to use their body as a weapon to get those get those penalties. That's Clay Melton said it, it was a terrible route by Hurts. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, he bailed out. He bailed away from the the coverage. You got to use your body, man. You got to learn how to use your body. I'm gonna tell you something too that I saw on that too. Like I said, it was both of their faults because the only thing that I saw Matt Ryan did wrong there was he did that extra that that, that extra step cost him a second. Yeah. That if you if you look at it, but that was kind of created by Bosa. That was kind of created by that person by Bosa. I, I, I don't, I don't yeah, think I, so. Cause Bo, cause like I said, Gano had Bosa pretty well there. But as far as um, Bo, you been hit as a quarterback when you been hit like that as a quarterback, you ain't thinking about you know Gano not having it. You just see a guy coming at you. Right, right. But I feel I feel like Hayden Hurst should have broke that curl route. Probably like another yard, shorter. another yard. If he would have just broke it like maybe a couple yards shorter, it gave him more. Of yeah, that could fly. Yeah, yeah. And you got to use your body. You got to know that defender is there, and you got to like kind of shield him away from that play so he don't get that ball. I mean, we. I think, we had, I think um, it's one of those cases in this particular case. Where, because uh, like I said, we don't want to waste our shot. There's three minutes and 52 seconds left in the game. The ball shouldn't have gone there. Right. The fact of the matter is that, you know, you had Ito here. You had Powell up here. That ball shouldn't have gone there. Yes, we don't want to put the ball at risk in situations where we have a chance to win the game. You know, that was a bad throw by Matt. I think that's a huge. And, I, and the I fact of the matter is that Matt, Matt stared him down like like Sarah was making a, a red velvet cake on Christmas Eve. He, he wouldn't take his eyes off of him. Hey, man, I think that's, I think that's an easy throw. For uh, I think it's an inexperienced tight end. And this is where uh, Hayden Hurst's inexperience as a tight end comes in the head. I think that's an easy throw if you have an experienced tight end at the end. But you I mean, don't have I kind of disagree with that only because, like, it's Matt kind of took that extra step instead of like, like I said, if that was one of those things where it was supposed to have been a one step drop and then get out, he would have mm. got it. But the problem was, he took a couple more steps to patent it. Yeah, that that patent, like I said, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying it for me. So for what I see there, that that guy is coming right at him. But I think God that was, was immediate. Pressure. I think yeah, God, that was immediate it. pressure. Let's see. Gano held his own here. Yeah, I think Gano held up because he still had enough. Yeah, he, he had a clean throw lane and everything. Matt threw it too early, or he could have just threw it out to the flat. It was a bad throw by Matt. Bad play. 
It said uh, Dirk Curve offensive plays are very one dimensional. Defenders know what's coming. Yep. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, and I, I definitely agree because Dirk Cutter's plays are very one dimensional, and you know, the defense does know what's coming in a lot of situations. But you know, in cases like that last play, whenever you still had wide you know receivers open, or we didn't have to put the ball at risk. Because the fact of the matter is, is that the defense, they obviously didn't know exactly what was coming because Edo Smith was out here in the flat and he definitely could have got a seven yard gain easily. But my but the one thing, the one thing I will say is even in that situation like that, throwing the ball is not an option as far as like I said, you still you still in a position to where cause what 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 was it a first down at that time? Was it a first down or was it a third down? That was a that was a second and seventeen. So I mean, we mm-hmm. we we just needed to get something positive. We didn't have to get it all in one chunk, but okay. you know, I think that check down was the best football play in that situation. Yeah. So the best football play was actually running the ball. And on second and fight. seventeen, both. That's oh, yeah, you got that. Right hey, you just man, another thing. Score. We literally just said score. A second and 17. We try to score touchdowns. The fact of the matter is there was still three minutes and 52 seconds left. What's the score? What's the score? It's 17-17. It was seven. Running the ball. That's yeah. So, 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 so if we would have ran the ball on second and 17 and got three yards and ran the ball again, they, they, they would have had two minutes and 30 seconds left. And how many times have we gotten beat? Uh, how, how many times have we gotten beat this year off of teams scoring on us on the last drive of the game? We need to score a touchdown. Oh. We live to fight another day. You have, yes. The defense is playing much better. You run the ball in that situation. Yeah, it's the same defense that let the same defense that let lines come down the field in in 14 seconds to score on us. We needed touchdowns. We didn't need. We didn't need to, we didn't need to just run in that situation to kick. Second and seventeen. Second and seventeen. There wasn't no need to run, Bo. Wasn't no need to run in that situation. I was just go, I was just you gonna say at, 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 uh, of all the uh, like is you could say is no need to run, but like I said of all the situations that dirt cutter calls up draws and unnecessary times. That could have been one of those draws they could have ran to kind of do that. That would have been a good draw play. That yeah. would have been a good that, draw that's play. That's what I mean. Not not so much of like the power ice or nothing like that, but a draw play definitely would did. Cause yeah, that would have been a good draw play because it, it was a passing because because it was a passing situation. Exactly. But you see what I'm saying? But just a regular 20, 21 ISO like Dirk normally calls, that wouldn't have been a good that would have been a good call in that situation. Yeah, yeah, draw. Like I said, draw play would have been better in that situation. Yeah. So we got this right here. So we got 36 seconds left, y'all. So we got one more shot. 34 seconds left. So we got one more shot. Bleeding Ray, he came through and in the clutch for us. You know, my homeboy Jews, favorite DB, I believe, Bleeding Ray Wilson. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he came through and got that interception for us. So we got another shot. Ball's on the forty-five yard line. So, first and once ten. again, this was another situation where you know it was a bad throw that was made, and unfortunately, you know it was one of the reasons why we lost the game. Hey, that ball shouldn't that that shouldn't even been a pass play right there. That should have been a running play. Use the clock. It looked like Reggie was looking for a flag. He said he said really was looking for a flag. Yeah, he was you see him? He it looked like he was it looked like he was looking for a flag. Um Atlanta Falcons for life. We do um call ins on Sundays and maybe Mondays. You see his hand? Let's see. I don't know why he was looking for a flag. I didn't I didn't really see anything. Or look like he might have held just a little bit, but probably when he was trying to cut on the outside, maybe. 
But I can't, yeah, we're gonna have to look at that closer. So so on this particular play right here, so since we are since we were on the 45 yard line, um, because I, I actually did a markup um uh, of the running plays after five minutes left in the game that we did run. So we did run a, a run to Edo to the left for negative two yards. Then Edo did have a five yard run. And then they also gave it to Edo again for no game on a second and three. So it's almost, it, it, it looks like in this particular situation, the Chargers adjusted to the run a little bit better and they were actually starting to stop the run because I noticed that they were running some different packages. So since we were on the 45 yard line, let's see. If Cool would have had to kick that ball from the 45, that would have been what a 62 yard field goal? Nine. Uh, Let me see. That's seven yards, then plus the nine. That's in the back by 61. Yeah, but so that, that would have been a 61 yard field goal. So, you know, it, it's one of those cases where I, I don't want Cool kicking a 61 yard field goal. I also don't want it to be a situation where, you know, we're running and we're also going backwards. So in, in this case, me, myself, personally, as a coach, I feel like it's okay to run a pass play, but it's you got to run safe passing plays because if it is an incompletion, the clock stops. You see what I'm saying? We don't have to burn the time out. So, you know, throwing that out route, if, if Matt – because I did see that Matt had some pressure in his face, but – if he felt like he couldn't have gotten the ball there, if he doubted himself just a little bit, he should have just threw it away. Because there's no reason that that ball should go to the inside shoulder like it did. So my qu my question would be to you is, um, in that situation, wouldn't like the sc like the screen and the swing passes would be kind of like an extension of the running game? Because yes. That's what I would. That's what I would have called. Yeah. But it's obvious that you know they haven't ran that all game. They haven't ran that the whole game. And that would have been a perfect time to do that it. That would have been a perfect time. Perfect time. And it all game. That would have been a perfect time. But you know, this is the this is the play that was called. Matt was asked to run this play, and he he just didn't make the he didn't make the right football play. I understand that he was trying to get it. He was trying to get it to the sideline so the clock would stop. Because if you see here, once again, the, the guy that everybody wants involved, Hayden Hurst, you know, he crossed that he crossed that linebacker's face and he got he got this guy stacked up here. He could have he literally could have caught it. I don't know if he would have gotten to the sideline, but you know, at least would have would have got about five yards on that particular play. But yeah, I mean. It was just a bad throw by Matt, unfortunately. I, I think that's just a shitty call from the very beginning. I don't like uh, that. This is why I always say that coaches put players in position to look absolute like trash. That play right there should have never even been called. I think you run a deep, uh, a deep out concept, and I don't have no idea why Hayden Hurts is even running that, like running in the middle like that. To be honest. In that particular moment, like I like that the whole play was just <laughs> Dirt said that he was trying to emulate Kyle Shanahan. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. I don't know. I don't know who the hell he was thinking he was trying to fool, but that ain't fool nobody. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what the sad thing about it was? Ain't that what Steve Sarkeesian did too? Try to emulate Kyle Shanahan's offense. I mean, Sark had his own kind of concepts. He like. Sark ran West Coast concepts. He didn't run like what 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 um Dirk Cutter runs. He runs a lot of deep hook and a deep, you know, uh a lot of dig routes, a lot of deep outs. Like that's what he likes to run. It puts the that's ball at risk. Yeah, and it puts the ball at risk. And it, it really leaves your quarterback susceptible to a lot of mistakes because of the style of the offense. You said the key word, and I always say this: Who was the quarterback under Dirk Cutter before he came back that lap? 
Yeah. <laughs> 30 for <Yeah>. 30. <laughs> <laughs> We we call this this is the Apple turnover offense. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, one of them damn. <laughs> I, like, like like I said, man, I just don't like any of this offense. I can't blame any of the players. I, I just like the 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 whole scheme and the style of the offense just this it's just idiotic. It's outdated and it needs to be thrown away forever. Don't ever bring this bitch ever back up uh, back again. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, like yeah, because especially like I mean, who the, like I, I apologize, but who the hell is worried about him in this particular like who the hell is worried about him in this moment? Who is worried about Hayden Hurst in this moment? Why even run that? Why are we doing that? That makes no sense. <sighs> hey man. Cause I, oh, I, was, no. I was just about to say, man. Yeah, that, like I said, it's not good, man. Because, like I said, you have to think. Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm just saying for myself. But if I have a quarterback that's 35, 36 years old, do I really want him running an offense, a high risk offense like this? I don't. Long I, 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 plays. I know damn well I don't because we can look at all the Hall of Famers now and John. Remember John Elway? They didn't run a high risk off. They they ran it early, but once he got older, they said Terrell Davis run us to a Super Bowl, and that's what they did. <laughs> and that's what, and like I said, winning Super Bowls you have to run the ball effectively. Like I said, we can look at all the Super Bowl quarterbacks right now as like I said, as far as Drew Brees and O nine. They ran the ball and played defense. The next year, Aaron Rodgers, they ran the ball and played defense. Defense wasn't that good, but they got turnovers. And what, what's the I, what, yeah, yeah. I say, what's the common denominator in that? You run the damn ball and you stop somebody. Yeah, and that what made Kyle Shanahan offense so good good for Matt Ryan and perfect for Matt Ryan. He didn't force Matt Ryan to make these, I have these long developing plays unless they were uh, designed to be play action off of play action. That's the only time he called plays for long developing plays. And you got to understand um, like in this day and age, anyway, with these athletes, you can't continue to be, you can't continue to put your quarterback at risk. I mean, even Patrick Mahomes, he can't get away from a lot of these athletes. I mean, it was a 30-yard um, – He, I think he got called for like a 30-yard sack trying to run away from athletes. You got to understand, these are athletes these days. As a coach, you cannot, and especially a quarterback like Matt Ryan who doesn't have that athletic ability, don't put him at risk like this. Get the ball out of his hand and let the real athletes make plays. But yeah, man. Uh, good guys. I, I'm tired of looking at Dirt Cutter. I'm tired of looking at the Falcon mm -hmm. film. You guys, if you guys want me to cut down some damn San Francisco film, please. I, I just leave it in, in the comment. Which are what, what you meet? What what do you guys want Low and I to break down? Because I, I'm so sick of looking at this Falcon offense, man. It just it it infuriates me because the design. Of it, it's just it's it's just boo boo it's boo boo death and boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you suck a boo boo <laughs> exactly. It's, boo -boo. it's destined for failure. Nobody can like. Uh. You said somebody asked how many attempts does Matt Ryan have right now? As far probably yeah. 30, 40. almost five hundred attempts in the season right now. Man, I need to look at it. That's you can't. Hey, uh, hey shit! Like that. I wouldn't mind breaking down some stuff with both of y'all too. Hell, yeah, we can definitely break down some other teams. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be the Falcons. Like we're willing. Like this is the reason why we do it. I just I, I can't break down. It, I have a hard time looking at crappy. This is just crap. Like this is just crappy play calling. 
you putting your players in position to look bad by bad game planning and bad play calling. And then when the guy makes mistakes, we look at the players, it's like the players, well, your play was crap from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was crap from the beginning and <sighs> lining up Keith Smith at receiver, throwing the ball when you should be running the ball. And at third and one, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just bad, just bad, man. I had a couple of plays that I wanted to highlight, though. Just, uh, you know, just some positives. Um, give me one moment. Hold on, Nick Turner said. <laughs> Nick Turner JT said the fact that you left JT Daniels out there behind that Ryan. Yeah, that motherfucker ACL toe up too. I'm good on that. Say <laughs> 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 so nah, you, you, you want Jimmy go right there too? I want a healthy ACL. I'm good on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Oh, AJ Terrell with the boom boom. Alden Terrell Jr. Yeah, that's good. There are a couple other ones too. Mm. That's it. See, he has the ability to be the best corner in the league. But you know what, though, man? The thing that I worry about with A.J. Terrell, and I, I had this issue with um, with players before, I'm, I'm, I'm actually worried about the guy. He's too physical. He's too physical. I'm scared he's going to hurt himself. I think, what, I think what it is is since he's a rookie, he's kind of like in that let me prove myself kind of stage. I think once he gets more experience, He's going to kind of cut back on the physicality enough to where he won't hurt himself. And you know what I call you know what I call that? What? He a young thundercat. Young thundercat. He a young thundercat, man. He <laughs> I mean, look at this. But the thing a about it is you never have 13 uh, a cornerback should never have 13 tackles. Never. I was, never. About that. I, I was worried about that the first game. That the first that when I saw the stat line and I was seeing him making so many tackles, I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. A cornerback should never have that many tackles ever. I'm about to say Harrison the Bunny said Dirk Cutter's finna make Matt Ryan throw the ball one thousand times this season. <laughs> Knowing his head, he probably might do it. Uh, that hey man, mad. Dirk Cutter somewhere like, hey man, we finna break some records. Let's have them uh <laughs> Let's throw a thousand straight passes. <laughs> he said, King Haji said, Dirt finna turn Matt Ryan's arm into jello by the end of the season. <laughs> well, that shit is already jello. <laughs> can't put on right now. Shit. All no, there's, a thing, there, there's, two, there's two different stages of jello. There is right now for Matt Ryan <laughs> and the Jake Fromm side of the game. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. It ain't, it ain't quite that. It ain't quite that. I mean, you know, the thing is that, you know, it's uh like, you know, Matt don't got the strongest arm, but boy, he throw he he, he throw such a pretty deep ball. Mm-hmm. Such yeah, a pretty deep and, ball. And that's that's that's, that's the difference in, in um quarterback play I, I think that's a lot of what a lot of people expect they, everybody we, like i said i think we've been so spoiled with guys like cam newton and aaron Rodgers. that these guys can throw these you know blazing the blazing you know fastballs uh, we look at a guy like matt ryan and you know drew Brees. And we get you know it's like oh they they arm is weak this guy can make some throws but i think a lot of it comes just we just spoiled man this sport with these amazing athletes, man. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, you look at uh you look at people like like a Cam Newton and you say, Well, man, you know, this guy, he's uh you know, he could throw the ball 70 yards, 
But then he only has a, he has a game where he only throws the ball for seventy yards. Seventy. Yards. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is true. Right. 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 See, see. Right. Go ahead. I'm about to say I don't know if y'all heard about what's going on in New England with Cam right now, but they pretty much throwing him under the bus right now. Oh yeah. Oh, you know that? Oh, we, that we, was designed, we, brother. That was designed, my brother. brother. Hey, shit, that I knew that was going to happen as soon as the season yes. started. They, they going to throw. They said the kill Harry's trainer talking about. It's Cam his fault. Is is fault. They said Cam News mechanics are terrible. That's why the kill Harry ain't showed out this year. Yeah. The kill Harry had showed out the last couple years. Ain't nobody. Boy, you should have nothing. <laughs> ain't you nothing new. And you should have heard yeah, Shad's Cam Trump went off on the kill Harry's <laughs> ass. That shit was funny. He's he talking about how are you gonna blame somebody for you <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like how they did Cam from the very I was like, yeah, yeah, that's a bad like they gonna they gonna throw him out because as soon as they start that they gonna have they gonna have shots on the sideline, like Cam is not playing well. And then they, they, they're going to leave him out to dry, man. I, I knew that from the very beginning. That's what Bill Belichick is. He's a scumbag, man. That whole organization is a fucking, like, they, they're just scumbags. Hey. I don't like how they're doing him. It's hey, nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Jacob Arthur said he agreed with you, Mike. In your theory, he said, from a Georgia fan, Jake Fromm is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Doop, 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 doop. Hey man, uh, I, y'all, I, can't, I, y'all can't call the y'all can't call the quarterback one MVP the trash. He's absolute god man. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> but you know there were a lot of people. There were a lot of people saying, "Let's get Jake from bullshit." <laughs> we had um, what, uh, what, who, who was that? It was a uh, announcer. I, it might, I, I might forget his name, but I think he was a quarterback himself. But he was saying that Jake Fromm has uh, all the tools. Matt all the, he had all the tools. Who? Was it Matt Sims? Or Chris Sims? One of them. No, I don't think it was like the blonde dude. That's a blonde guy. I forget his name. He be sitting next to a uh, dude who be wearing all them crazy. Uh, Phil uh, Sims? No, we ran all the mascots, the head mascots. Oh, you talking about Lee Corso? Cut. Are you talking about Kurt Herb Street? Kurt Herb Street. Herb Street. Street. He the one who said he was had uh, Jake from number one. Yeah, he's supposed to be a first. He had to kind of be a uh, uh, number one uh, first round draft pick. I said, man, look, I didn't know. Kurt Kurt, Kurt Herb Street smoking crack. Yeah, man. Yeah, he said that during the Alabama game when they were playing Alabama. That man um, had the talent to be the uh, first round pick. I said, man, look, y'all know y'all lying. How about know y'all lying? How about I say talent to be first round on what? <laughs> <laughs> he was he he was on the Scott Mitchell side of the game. <laughs> oh my god! Well, all he had to do was do this. Is all he had to do. Hold on, I'm gonna take my mouth. That's all he had to do. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, hey, I'm about to say, I know y'all. I know there's been rumors going around too. Um, they talking about um, Bill Cowan want to coach again. Hey, man, if he want to come to Atlanta, bring his ass on, please, baby. Give him that I'll blank look. check. I blank check, bro. Blank check. <laughs> <laughs> blank check. I love Bill Cowell, man. Exactly. He's one of my I favorite said, all time. I love him. I said he's looking at seventy six. He's uh, he pulling a Jamar Brown on this play. Hold on, we gotta see it. We got we 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 gonna do the Jamar Brown side. Hold on, we got the Jamar Brown award. Jamar over. Brown challenge. What in the world? Was <laughs> <laughs> it doing again? What in the world was that? This dude did a twirl. <laughs> what in the bloody bloody what? Wow! 
That motherfucker was like, whole line looked like they were confused. They didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> Shit. Everybody, nobody looked like they knew what they were doing. Nobody was in sync or nothing. <laughs> Jeez. Bro. That shit was bad. Hold on. What's our opinion on Breeze hey, coming look. back? Hey, hey, look, hey, look, this is what just this is what Justin Herbert was looking like for his protection. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he said, he said, where's my protection? He over there looking like I don't see. What's it. my opinion on hey man? I my opinion on Drew Brees coming back. I don't think he should, man. That that dude need to realize that he's old. He got broken ribs, and it's just I, I just don't think it's a good idea. He's gonna come back, but I just don't think it's a good idea, man. I think they have a better opportunity to win if they play Jameis Winston and um your boy um Tim Tebow Jr. Uh Tim Tebow Jr. Yeah, Tim Tebow Jr. Uh mm-hmm. together to be honest. Cause I think like I think a lot of people like really discrediting um and I think a lot of that had to do with Dirk Cutter and his crappy offense. He got him in bad habits. Like that's why I say a lot of people don't re- realize that, but coaches can get players into bad habits, man. The bad habits, and they have to break those bad habits. You look at Drew Brees coming to, uh, uh, to the uh, to the Saints. Like he had to break out some bad habits. He did. He and did. He great. He became a great quarterback. So coaches can ruin players' uh, careers, man. I tell people that all the time that Drew Brees, he was just he was a good quarterback, but he wasn't Drew Brees before he before Sean Payton got a hold to him. Yeah. And, and y'all seen uh what Terry Artist 404 said. Don't that, block, get it, don't get block, it. get it, get it, don't block, get it, get it. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, I was about to say, since you said Devontae Freeman. I'm about to bring back a, 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 a old goody butt favorite for y'all asses about the box. <laughs> it's an old goody butt favorite. Hold on. Here it come right now. We got Devont- Devontae Freeman coming up right now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh God! Real, real, real motherfucker! I had to see what you put up. Oh, oh, you won't see it here. Here you go. <laughs> I had to leave you. I had to go eat. <laughs> oh Lord! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hungry side of the game, but <laughs> yeah, that yeah. <laughs> Man, but yeah, Drew Brees, like I said, Drew Brees, he was all right, but like that just one of those things where he had that. But and I tell, I say, if it wasn't for Nick Saban, Drew Brees would have never been in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. You're right, because mm-hmm. Drew Brees was actually supposed to be in Miami. Yep, but he they chose Dante Culpepper over Drew Brees. Nick Saban burns us again. <laughs> Almost spit my beer out. <laughs> I'm gonna almost sit, boy. You said that. Boy. What's that? Uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that Arthur meme where he has the fist balled up. Right, Nick Saban. <laughs> hold on, somebody. Hold on, somebody said something here too. To, um. Nick Turner also said he said he said Stetson Bennett, DeJuan Mathis, and Jay Fromm are college Hall of Famers. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't even want to let them in there. They might be they might be high school Hall of Famers. <laughs> Shit, Stetson Bennett, you know his parents his parents damn near own Georgia, so you know you know he's automatic Hall of Famer. That my daddy said I'm a Hall of Famer, so I am a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Man, I had to deal with that. Man, I had to deal with that. Like my first year of coaching, man. Like this kid, his dad was like the big lawyer in the small town where I'm from, and 
you know, he was like the head of the booster club and everything. Terrible quarterback. Oh my God. Oh my God. He could have thrown his way out of a wet paper bag. But somehow he was our quarterback. And it, it, it was it was terrible. You know, it you know, those 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 politics, man, it Yeah, that, that that's bad. That is bad. <laughs> King, hey, look, King, oh, you said the best Devontae Freeman moment was when Aaron Donald picked him up like he was lifting up a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucked up part because the team didn't even help him. No, they waited till they waited till the whole Rams team was around them before they came. But you know what, though, man, it's like I think about that, especially like, after seeing like all the things that Devontae Freeman like has said and done over a period of time. They, they were probably like, I ain't finna help him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I think I think back on that. I'm like, you were saying, you were throwing some you shots out there. You're right. Devontae you Freeman was throwing some shots in the media. He was saying stuff. I ain't taking no dang. I ain't taking no pay cut they, for nothing. Like he he was he was very he, he was very egotistical. You said yeah. His uncle Luke got in that ill. That's what happened. Uh huh. Uh, Clay Melton said, "If the Falcons' coach was Sean Payton, what could he do with the talent he had the last few years?" Man, I'm um, glad, I mean, I'm going to tell you, I man. It, I think it'll be the same thing because we still like the difference between them and us is not really anything. They got lucky by uh, all. You know, they just got lucky and won that Super Bowl. We didn't get lucky, and they won the Super Bowl. I think the Falcons and Saints are pretty much they mirror each other when you look at and their longevity. Like Sean Payton really hasn't had like he had outside of that one. Like I said, that one he won a Super Bowl, but outside of that, he's done. He's failed as many times as Dan Quinn and the Falcons have failed. Yeah. I think with the talent, I think we would have had more winning seasons. I think we would have had a better chance to get to the playoffs. But, you know, I think sometimes whenever he gets to the playoffs, I think sometimes Sean kind of outthinks things. Like he he, he mm-hmm. thinks himself out of situations. But, look, like you got you got to give a man credit. Like, he's literally had three quarterbacks the last two years, and those backup quarterbacks have gone undefeated. Like, uh, yeah, he, he, he can coach up a quarterback. Yeah. He's he's a brilliant coach, but I'm saying like it, like as far as the Falcons concerned, like this dude has failed a lot. We're talking about yeah. failed. He got lucky on that onside kick. That onside kick saved his career in New Orleans. Yeah. Be yeah. real. Let's be real. So he's a very like I I would love him to be our coach. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I think he we we would be looking at the exact same thing here in Atlanta. Because we've had some brilliant coaches here. We got a lot of talent. You know what I'm saying? Kyle Shanahan was an amazing play caller. I think him and uh, Kyle Shanahan is like one of the best um, play calls and play set. I, I wasn't necessarily, but they do an excellent job of setting up plays. They're great at that. They know yeah. how to set up plays. Yeah, they can, they can set them up. Uh, uh, hold on. Nick Turner, 31, said, um, what plays would you call against the Bucks? Um, I know what plays that we would call, but knowing Dirk Cutter, he's going to call these plays. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You, you just wait for the opportunity. I'll wait for the opportunity to do it. Wait for the opportunity. His his number one his number one his number one play is going to be black rain, foot split and. And hey man, smack! <laughs> <laughs> but Nick Turner, um, I know you. Um, I don't know if you're a Saints fan, but um, just because you get to the division round and lose, don't mean you necessarily accomplish anything. That just mean you're regular season champs. That's 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 pretty much. It. Yeah. You still yeah. fail to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, so you got to remember, there's only, there's only one Super Bowl champion in my name. <laughs> right. And a lot of them. <laughs> Jay Walter said, Falcons from a Saint fan, please sweep the book. 
I hope we lose to him just for that. Hey, yeah. hey. Yeah, Tom Brady. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady going to come in our division and think he running shit. No, hell no. We need to beat that man, ass. I just want somebody to hit him in the ankle one time. Just grab his damn ankle and twist them up looking like Kurt Angle. I just, I'm sick of him. <laughs> Them, okay, I'm just sick of Man, hello. Clay Melton says Dan Reeves was the last good head coach we had. Shanahan is the only good OC we had. What y'all feel about that? I mean, I think I Mike think Smith was a good coach. I think Mike Smith was a good yeah. coach. Like, you know, it, it, people forget that. Like, we would like to. Look, the least penalized team for years under Mike Smith. Like we like Mike Smith was a good coach, man. I put it to you like this. Just imagine if we had Mike Smith as a head coach and Shanahan as an OC. <sighs> Game over. All day. I just think I think just um what a lot of coaches um what keeps them back is the inability to um, adapt and that's the thing like sometimes your scheme gets figured out and if you don't understand if you don't know how to adjust um to the new style or people figuring out your scheme that's when you find yourself out of the league and the great coaches find a way to reinvent themselves and that's something that mike smith couldn't do he's a very good yeah. coach I mean, the Falcons had the first winning, like they back-to-back winning season under Mike Smith and the least penalized team. But his the way, I mean, he found himself out of the lead because the same issue um, with he had a second chance in Tampa Bay. He's continued to play that same style of defense, and they pretty much got him out of the lead. Yeah. You got to learn how to reinvent. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. Like I said, like I said, at the end of the day, this at the NFL is all about adapting to the next thing. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. And you get stuck in your ways, man. You you out of here quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh well, wait a minute, Devon Stanford got something on you. He said, oh, he said, man, he said it. dirt cutter keep a dartboard in the booth with his plays attached to it. <laughs> 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 man, he can have a dartboard. He couldn't hit the dartboard. Hey, man, he can hit that ball for that. Right. That ball boy hit all kinds of walls and stuff. I think he might. Have, I think he might have threw the dart through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all ain't shit. All right, like Clay Mayton, like Clay Melton said, um. I like Mike Smith, but a defensive-minded head coach in a team whose strength is offense is risky. I agree. I agree. Because then it's almost like, why are you even here kind of a situation. Mm-hmm. We could have just done this anyway. Right. <laughs> the boss Crawford said I might be right about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I can't hit a dartboard. Man. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, this week, like I said, we'll put it on Matt Ryan and what with some of the throws he made and dirt cutter for some of the call with some of the packages that he did. But consistently, it's been bad. Cause like I said, if you look, there was a statistic that was out there. I think I saw it on Instagram. Not Instagram, but Twitter. Is that Matt Ryan in the three or four years he done played under Dirt Cutter, then got sacked over 200 times? And a lot of it was under Dirt Cutter. That tells you a lot. Under other coordinators, he got sacked a total of, I think they said it was like 190 times under the other coordinators. But on the dirt cut, he got sat over two hundred times. That tells you a lot. That tells you a lot, man. That's that's that's, and that's 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 what play. That's that's where play creativity comes in the hand, man. Um, 
but I, I we definitely appreciate you guys. We're gonna um kind of give our final thoughts. Um, but I think that will create creativity as far as play calling is concerned. This is why I'm always like for me, I'm a players, I'm a players type of uh coach, if you will. Uh, because I believe that in order to be successful, a successful team, um, it starts with the leadership first. It starts with the coach. It starts with the owner. Uh, if you don't have a, a a scheme that you commit to, which the Falcons have always had issues with, they don't know if they're going to be a 3-4 team this year or a 4-3 team, or they don't know if they want to run the ball with Tar Gurley this year, or they want to pass the ball. It's like, you, you know, we trade for – guys like Hayden Hurst and we don't end up, you know, using the guys, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's an identity issue with this team. So un until the leadership, the general manager, um, the team president, Rich McKay and the head coach, they commit to a scheme, Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, they will never win a championship until the leadership gets their crap right first. Yeah. How about that? Antoine Wartop said, do y'all think we should sign Ty Gurley back one more year? Because I don't know. Nah, no, absolutely not. No, uh-uh. No. Nah, no. nah that's it for him. No. Nah. It's it for I don't him. Think, like I, said, I don't think. I don't think. We, we, love, we like him, but the reality is it, uh, the way that he, the way that his knee, like I said, you could tell he doesn't have the confidence in, in himself no more because of that knee. And, then, mm -hmm. and like I said, paying running backs big money is highly risky. Like I said, yeah, it's that done. Tennessee got Thanos. That's a whole nother <laughs> breed right there of running back. And I hear right. that like Triple G said Najee, they should draft Najee Harris in the second round. Like I said, if he's available at that spot, I'll take that chance in the second round if he's available in that second round. I don't even know if I will take that in the second. I'm not taking a running back in the first or second round. I'm waiting at least to the to the mid third round to get a running back. To yeah, be I honest, because I, I mean go running back Eddie and be okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But that's right. right. a dime a dozen, man. Like you get them, you right. get them anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I, I get what y'all talking about because in that first or second round, that's kind of a gamble as far mm -hmm. as the way that the league is nowadays to where most of the running backs that are really dominating this league right now ain't even third round picks. They fourth round or later. Right, exactly. Exactly. So, but no, like I said, that was it. just one of those cases. Like I said, that'll be that. Like I said, I know for me personally, I say – if he's available in the second round and if your need that you have is not there or the player that you don't want and he's there, I right. would take him in the second round. But if you have a player that you're looking at for that second round and he's there, you take that player. But if he's not there, I'll take – and Najee Harris is available, I'll take that. Yeah. And Blitz, uh, 22-818. Says ATL needs a bruiser running back to end Matt Ryan's career. Uh, take Matt Ryan out like Manning, defense and run. Look, it, it's amazing. It, it's almost like life, you know, uh, how you know we start off can't walk in their pampers <laughs> and we end off can't walk in their pampers because <laughs> that's, that's how Matt Ryan came into the league, man, with a bruiser running game and you know, the defense, that was pretty good. And, I mean, it, that, that's the life cycle of a quarterback. I mean, whenever they end their careers, it's like, you know, let's get them, you know, a good running game and a good defense. And, you know, he's smart enough to make sure that we don't turn the ball over. And, you know, he can make the throws when he needs to make them. You know, so, I mean, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. That's a good call, Blitz. Good call. That's an absolute excellent call. That's exactly what I have in mind. I mean, that's how Peyton Manning went out, to be honest. He went out yeah. the exact same way. That man couldn't throw 10 yards. But he, <laughs> went, he won a Super Bowl. He won yeah. a Super Bowl in the exact same formula. Yeah. In case I mentioned John Elway earlier, you know. You know, he had that running game and 
defense can play ball and you know everything else just kind of falls into place he'll make a play when he needs to but you know it's like we've been saying all year Mike they trust Matt Ryan too much like you know he they put too much on his shoulders you ain't even got to go all the way back. You can go to Peyton Manning in that 2015 season. Yeah. Your arm yeah. was done. <laughs> it was and done. Manning, my all-time favorite. That man on was doo doo. He yeah. literally, he literally got benched for half the season and came back. Never thought I'd see the day. Right. But they had the they like I said, they had the defense. Yeah, defense, running game. Exactly. You know, Peyton, he and Peyton was just smart enough to just run that offense with, mm-hmm. with what he had, man. Like people forget how much of a genius Peyton was, man. Like you know, that that, that boy had a, a wet rice noodle for an arm, but that boy can, I mean, he, he literally but I mean, I just love watching that man do this play action. The way he held his hand right here, whenever he did that play, I mean, it, he paid attention to everything, man. I mean, I about, yeah, I'm about to say, fundamentally sound, he was one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. Yeah. I'm going shit, and he couldn't I he don't think the body, but he could put the ball where it needed to be, and that's what you needed as a quarterback. As long as you put that ball where it need to be. So the, the strong, sexy arm ain't always going to win your games. No, nah, man. No. Nah. As Tom Brady, you know, yeah, they cheated a lot and everything. But, you know, I mean, he, he gets the ball where he need to get. He, he need to get the ball where he need to get it to. And, you know, he made those throws. He wasn't, you know, chucking and ducking the whole time. Making those 10-yard, 7-yard, 11-yard throws. I mean that that it, that's how you a first down at a time, man. That's the only way only way to eat an elephant is a bite at a time. You know. Exactly. exactly. You ain't need no turtle like that neither, boy. You are <laughs> man. Hey, y'all wanna go ahead and get two point conversions? Oh yeah, you definitely gonna do that. So, are we going for two or are we going for one? That should be my favorite thing as a coach, but as we go to touch now, you put the one up. <laughs> one. No, one. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, all right, there he, there he go, throwing up the horn. Like I said, hold on, let me go ahead. One. You already know what time it is. Right, five on four, what happened? Hey, uh... yeah, I leave, man. Man, we're waiting on him to come on the show, man. He just came on at the end, man. What the world, Mark? What the world, Bo? What the world, Bo? <laughs> What's that, Wardy? Exactly. Oh, boy. So, I'm about to say, so who's going to go? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and draw this play up for this one point conversion. I'm going to go ahead and start it with what you got for us, coach. Hey, man. <sighs> Three games left, y'all. Three games left. So, I know this ain't the situation that we wanted to be in, but whenever we get the next April and next May, and y'all going to be fiending for football, and y'all get tired of watching us on Atlanta Falcons Nation, y'all, look, y'all better enjoy these, these last three games because y'all ain't going to get nothing else till next September. So, it's literally going to – it's literally going to get warm again, then cool back down. Then y'all gonna get football. So look, y'all enjoy it, man. Y'all enjoy it. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell y'all too, man. So I'm actually going to the game on Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna be living the sweet life in the game on Sunday. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, 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 a vlog. You know, just some videos and everything uh, because this is gonna be my first time going to a game in a pandemic. So I'm gonna be going to the suite and um, just gonna take some videos. Showing y'all, you know, what the, you know, what's it going to be like going to a game in a pandemic, man. Uh, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, uh, Big Low Country. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I am from the country, so it's spelled uh, K-U-N-T-R-Y. Make sure you subscribe. We do film study, and we just sit around and talk about sports like we are now, man. 
Thank y'all so much for chilling out with old country boy tonight. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead, throw this behind the back pass to my homeboy, man, Mike. Uh, I'm going to take that motherfucking hit dirt cut ass right upside the head with that motherfucker. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to that and pass that and hope that motherfucker. I, I hope K Styles catches. So, K Styles, what you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to just say, tell everybody we appreciate them tuning in tonight, watching some film with, with the boys here at Atlanta Falcons Nation. Like I said, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for Red Clay Sports at 11 a.m. Like I said, you're going to see over there, you're going to see Twisted Torch TV, Mad Man. Hit, and Rich. The New York, the New York, the New York, New York, right? New York. Where Brooklyn at? Exactly. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> hey, look, hey, before I get to my two-pucker burden, I'm gonna hit this little comment that uh Triple G said. He said, "Mark five oh four, we have officially traded you for Sean Gomes. You are now part of the Falcon Nation." Oh, I was taking honey iced tea. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. That's what. Hey, Anton. Hey, look, hey, Antonio Aurelio said Compton 310. Falcon Compton. Hey, every day. Man, we got people in Compton. God, Lee. <laughs> That's what's up, man. And Devon, and Devon, hey, Stanford, it, and Devon Stanford said, thanks for the show, fellas. Salute to you all. Hey, man, Absolutely. we doing it for everybody. Remember. Atlanta Falcon Nation is not just us on this show. It's all of y'all that's tuning in with us on all platforms. Exactly. That's why we call y'all family, man. Exactly. So my two-point conversion is going to be, man, like like, like Lowe said, it's three games left. The inactive need the damn play now. Who, like I said, Julio is hurt again. He need to sit up, oh, need to sit down. Just, just go ahead and sit down. I know he got some – his contract guarantee, so he ain't got to hit no damn set. His contract guarantee. Just sit down, and let's see what these young boys are playing. I don't know what I'm saying. Like I said, we want to see what the young gunners got on this team now. This is the point of the season where you're not going to the playoffs. Ain't nothing looking good for you. Let's see what the young guns got. I mean, what's the what's the worst thing that can happen? We lose another game, okay? Right. But you want to, like I said, you want to see what you got for the future here, because we don't want to be stuck in here trying to play all the veterans and we're not winning, but then you're not giving the young guys the experience to play in these games. Uh -huh. So look, we got two games against Tampa Bay, and we got one against Kansas City. Like I said, Patrick Mahomes is the worst good quarterback I've ever seen. This motherfucker is as hell. He is, you do not want to play quarterback like. But he wins games mm -hmm. and he's got a Super Bowl, so I give him come, I give him props on that. So doesn't mean he's still great, but he I give him props on it. But like I said. We just want, like I said, at the end of the day, we just want to see the young players play the game. Like I said, we we need to at least get one off of Tampa Bay. For the love of God, <laughs> we just need one. I, I, we, need, we need, like I said, we need to get. You won and two against Carolina. You won and one against Carolina. One time for me. You zero and two against the Saints. Hmm. At least get one from Tampa Bay. I, I don't need to get swept by them neither. The whole idea. <laughs> because if y'all get swept by Tampa Bay this year, you might want to get the shovel out. <laughs> we already seen that once. We don't need to see that again. But... Uh -uh. I'm just going to end it with that. Like I said, make sure you follow. Like I said, make sure you follow Mad My Sports. Make sure you follow Big Country Low Sports. And you NTRY because he's from the country. 
<laughs> like I said, you follow Miss Maggie T. Yeah. And you can hit her in the background. Anime, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear her in the background. Like I said, you follow her. Jew Talk Sports, Terror Artist 404, Twisted Torch TV, mm-hmm. Madness 427, well, and Rich. <laughs> and like I said, we doing this thing. We Like I said, we coming in strong. We doing it. I see Mike down here doing the perfect 10 thing going on here huh? with, with the whole Ty Dillinger stuff. <laughs> but... <laughs> but like I said, we just doing this for y'all. We have and we having fun doing it, and that's all that ain't matters. How you gonna kick it off, love? Hey man, you said I had to hit that three pointer right there, so I had to throw the arm up right quick. It's good. It's good. Yes, sir. It's good. Shut it down. Veg go in here, try to get this dub on Sunday. Let's go. Let's yeah. ready to roll with it, man. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, look at the shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, oh somebody somebody shouted me out for my Air Julio shirt, man. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah man. Your baby got this for me, man. So okay. appreciate it. Cool. I don't know where you got it from, so I I'm, I'm sorry. And Sage Sergeant AR10 just came in saying, What's up, fellas? Oh, yeah, one more thing. Like I said, happy birthday, Princess. We got 17 more to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that if, if anybody wonder why I'm wearing this goofy ass hat, like I said, it's my daughter's birthday, and like I said, I'm just representing her on the show. So, hey, that's how we do, man. That's how we do. Okay. All right, man. Well, look, I enjoyed it, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Rise up, eight time down. Just like the beer. I'm still <laughs> <drinking>. <laughs>